Matt is 18 years old and in his first year of college. He was born with spina bifida and uses a wheelchair to get around. With the physical stuff, I really take care of it all myself, you know, getting around and that kind of stuff. But I do work with um, a special education person to help me, you know, with some of the more academic related stuff sometimes. Because the, the, I do have some learning disabilities that make certain things harder. Daria is 23 years old and has just graduated from college. She was born with a form of quadriplegic cerebral palsy and has a brain injury that affects her mobility. My abilities are too limited due to my brain injury, and um, but it doesn't affect my th my thinking. It doesn't have it doesn't affect my speech. My lower body I can't control. Nick is 14 years old and currently attending middle school. When he was born, the doctors diagnosed him with spina bifida, and at four months, he had his first brainstem stroke. Before his third birthday, Nick had a second stroke, which caused life-threatening complications. We never really knew life as being different, or, because Nick was our first, and we had had AJ that came along in the meantime, but AJ was a role model for Nick. It was a blessing to have a second child. Nick having his first two years being medically challenged, then when it was time to be growth and develop and to work that way, we had AJ to just take the lead. Ian is 19 years old and was born with Down syndrome. He has recently graduated from high school and has plans to go to college next year. Next year when I leave from high school, I want to have a nice job to learn all are different things and I'll follow directions and um and it's and it's and it's so so important important uh, about my l life um I want to I want to leave from home and I'm going to miss both parents um because they a uh, part of me, they know I'm doing all right, and I am proud of them. And they, and my mother helps me with other scholarships, and she is counting on me to get good grades in school and to make the, my best efforts. Stephanie is 16 and in high school. When she was 13 months old, she was diagnosed with juvenile arthritis in her wrists. In the next few years, she was diagnosed with it in her knees, elbows, and ankles. And at the age of five, she had two cataract surgeries. Well, I think it's important for me to be independent so I'll be able to fend for myself after college and not have to rely on my parents or my friends to remind me when to take my medicine or when to go to doctors or when to do that. So I think that's definitely important. I grew up in Siberia and we had a lot of snow, but unfortunately um, my country wasn't accessible really and um, I didn't really do much. We had an apartment and it was on the third floor, <laughs> no elevator, no access for the wheelchair. It was a golden cage to me and I just was stuck in the three-room apartment. I didn't really get out outside. Didn't get a chance to feel the snow up until um, I was about 17, 18. One of the hardest things for me about um, other people's perceptions is just, you know, how how little they think I can do. You know, some sometimes I find myself having to really convince people that I can do things. I think a lot of it, you know, comes just from kind of ignorance and lack of experience with people with disabilities. When she's invited to a friend's house to sleep over uh, when she was younger, I'd pop in at bedtime to the friend's house so I could take out her contact lenses and then I'd go back home as if I was never there. Um, the same with, with medication when she was younger. Um, I'd 
have to explain to a friend's parent, you know, what all the medicines were, or speak with the school nurse, explain all of the medicines, etc. But I tried to do it in a way that I wasn't a bigger presence in her life than friend, you know, her friends. Well, I think when you have like a chronic illness, you learn, you mature quickly. Like I think I mature, more mature than lots of my friends because I've learned how to deal with challenges that most of my friends have never had to overcome. He has a nurse that follows him to school one-on-one, -on -one, and he has an academic aide that's able to follow him and support him within the classroom and with a lot of his physical needs that he needs. You forget that by the time you need your books, you need your backpack, and you need your lunch, and you need to get to each class on time, the one-on-one -on -one aide does a tremendous amount of that almost backstage work so that Nick just flows through his day. I have two sisters and one brother. In 92, when I was nine, I went down to Brazil with my parents. M my mom went down first to get my brother and sister out of the orphanage. Um, I went down with my dad, and we adopted two li little Brazilians from S South America. Oh, how cute they were. They were so adorable, and I couldn't believe it. And I had a brother and sister. And, and they're the best. I think it's made my brother and I closer because we never really argued. I mean, most, my, most of my friends are like, oh yeah, I always argue with my brother, I can't stand him. But we never really had that because we were always very close and we'd talk about anything. And he was always supportive of me when I needed help or when I was sore and I couldn't walk as fast as he could or keep up with him. He'd always be very supportive. I have some friends who use wheelchairs. It's probably about 75% don't and 25% do of my percentages of my friends. It's kind of nice to have a, you know, a mix of both because so, you know, sometimes it's just nice to talk about different things that relate to that you know, with other people who are going through it. I found that that's been really helpful. I came to the United States just for Daria because um, Russia, in Russia, unfortunately, there are not at all accommodations for disabled people. She's smart and, like you can see, she's beautiful, a charm, <laughs> charming lady. And uh, I wanted that she got education and she got married and uh, she got a job in the future. I wanted to give uh, Daria real life. His dad's the manager because he decided they joined the State Challenger Little League Association. I'm not sure if that's the correct title, but now they play official rules and official games. So he has a full team. I have a buddy that helps defend his elbows. He gets the ball. He puts it in my glove, and I run to the base, and I he has a great neighborhood and a great group of family friends that we all just become, we all do well, we all hang out together and it just works and this isn't part of what they see. So many times we were at the tennis courts and a ball hit Nick because he was playing a bass and it snapped off the tubing of course. Well I didn't have a spare tubing with me but it was at the condo so everybody knows what to do. We said to AJ, run and get the tube. Kristen, run and get the red bag that I always have. It'll, it'll always be red because everybody knows to get the red bag. One time I really had this wacky idea, really crazy. Um, the idea of touching the sky. I found out about a hang gliding school and I've actually made reservations and one day I just went over there and I took off, off the ground with the hang gliding set. Of course the coach was there and um, we had a little camera going. I was talking to the coach the whole time. I felt that in the air and it was, it was thrilling but at the same time a scary experience. If somebody would ask me um, if I could do it now, yeah, I would. I tried uh, adapted water skiing. 
uh, a few summers ago. The first time I tried it, you know, it was really tried water skiing. It was really different from other things that I had done before. So it was a little bit scary, but after that, it was a lot of fun. I go to a camp in Vermont every year. I've been going for about five or six years now. It's 40 kids with juvenile arthritis or related diseases. It's just like a regular camp. We do canoeing and there's a ropes course and we have activities at night. But it's the same, almost the same kids every year. So we make lots of good friends and we communicate online and I keep really close friendships with all my friends from camp. I feel like having fun with friends, skiing in, in nice, nice, sweet, powdery snow and go fast and we do everything we do and when we um chat hey what's up nothing much i made this rap and it's really cool hey 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 my name's ian glamatrina and i know what i'm gonna go i know what wanna go and i want to ski everywhere and i ski black diamonds I thought I might do something that I could help other people who have had the challenges I faced in my life give back to people who have given to me. For me, it's kind of helped me to believe that I can do anything I want to. I feel very, very grateful because I have my mom and my dad and my two brothers that love me to death.